I'll go first. You go first, <laughs> ladies first. My name is Jennifer Collins, and I am the owner of The Next Step Dance Studio. And I'm Brian Ball, I'm the Director of Development uh, for the Evans Law Smith Professional Hockey Team. We're doing a jazz routine at a smooth criminal, and we are smooth criminals. Yes. So, very smooth. <laughs> Hopefully tonight. <laughs> Well, I wanted to do something that was, you know, that was very high paced, that's going to be a lot of fun, that, that you're not going to see a lot of people do. I want to do something totally different. So. Something very entertaining to the audience. So if we're not very good, at least they'll remember our props <laughs> and our idea. He's very, very receptive. He's very interested in making sure he does it right. I've really enjoyed teaching him. He's been very, a very good student, very easy to coach. I've been called Twinkle Toes in the office now. <laughs> I went from being like a, a sort of a brick robot to actually, I actually have some some moves now. He's got rhythm now. I, I, I just don't uh, do like you know the, the just the old '70s uh, <laughs> sprinkler now. I actually have a little bit more. Enjoy enjoy the show and hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, don't forget to keep on voting for us uh, this evening. Uh, definitely, you know it's a it's a great organization. So keep on voting for us tonight. And I just want to say I hope you enjoy the piece. Um, that we put together for you. I hope you're entertained and I hope you see how much Brian's improved with his dancing skills so that he can be the master of Twinkle Toes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm Nancy Drake, and um, I'm a retired nurse, and a homemaker, and a community volunteer. I'm Marissa Reedford. I am a recent graduate of USI, and I have been dancing since I was four, um, teaching dance uh, with the next step for about 10 years. We are tap dancing. Dancing to putting on the Ritz, so it's kind of going to be like an old school tap, so I really think the crowd's going to enjoy it and be able to get into the routine. It has been challenging for me, physically I guess I would say, um, just because while I do think I'm a person that has some rhythm, I play the piano and I sing, that kind of stuff, it's a very different thing to dance and you're not just shuffling around. I mean, there's, there's real steps to it and all that. Teaching dance, you know, I start with working with younger kids and it's been fun to teach someone older that's never, that's never tapped or danced before. And older than her mother. Older than well, her mother. <laughs> well, you know, but <laughs> just a little bit. This is all about the kids, but you know, it's also about us and everything that we've done here. So we are asking for you to cheer, to stand up for us and to get those votes in because we really will have the best routine. This is the first year for TAP and probably the reason this is the first year for TAP is you cannot fake through TAP. So if we've got the rhythm, then you need to stand up and cheer for us. Thank you. My name is Cassie Lauer. I own Paparazzi Glamour and Gowns. I'm Brayden Lupfer, and I am an instructor and choreographer at Achieve Academy of Dance. We're doing a jazz funk style. Can we really say there's a genre? I mean, it's different. It's, it's going to be fun. Nothing. <laughs> you can't categorize what we're doing. Our song choice. I do love our song. It's a bomb. Wow. I'm pretty sure you just kind of came out. You're like, we're going to do this one, and we were like. Got it. Yes. <laughs> we both love the song, and so we feel it. I've always wanted to teach a dance to this song, and I never had the chance to, and now I get to. It's more of a jazz funk style, and luckily that's what I specialize in with choreography-wise and teaching-wise, so we kind of got lucky. I have um, been known to dance at weddings and things like that um, <laughs> after some beverages, um, but all in all, I would say I'm not a very good dancer. Maybe borderline terrible. Um, I'm not terrible. I sound good. <laughs> but um, I am a singer, and so I've always been performing on that level. So this was kind of out of the box for me, and it was a way to kind of get that adrenaline rush that I've been missing from singing. I think you're great. I mean, I don't think you're terrible at all. I think you've got rhythm, and you do everything I tell you to. She just, like, picks up really fast. I try. Vote Cassie and Brayden. Yeah, if you want your money to get funky, Vote for us. True that. <laughs>my name is Rupal Duran and I'm a gynecologist here in town I just moved here last summer my name is Michael San Angelo I teach salsa Latin ballroom and I teach dance we wanted to sort of mix both of our cultural heritages with a little bit of entertainment too and so we're doing actually a salsa dance with a little Bollywood number I did a lot of like choreograph dancing when I was younger, especially in college, and I took dancing lessons when I was younger. Um, but that was many, many, many years ago. Many moons. Many moons ago. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, yes. So she's got experience doing some Latin dancing. She's got like, some experience um, with Bollywood, which I thought would be a great plus when I found out about that. And it definitely is. She's caught on real quick. And uh, she's able to keep rhythm. She's able to hold her own. and. And I'm, and I'm very happy with whoever picked her to be my partner. These are, this is the nicest he's ever been to me. Like, for real. Oops. For real, it's it nice. does now. <laughs> we got a surprise for y'all.
we need you guys to be really, really loud. Sure, real loud, we want to get that People's Choice Award. What else do you want to tell them? Tell them, we're talking to them right now. Prepare to be dazzled. I'm just kidding, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I'm Sadi Abraham. I am currently the Outreach Coordinator at Children's Center for Dance Education and I teach ballet. I am a real estate agent here in Evansville and I have been for about the past 12 years. I would say pop hip hop. Ryan's got some moves. Well, I, and I always brought the great music too. Oh yeah. Oh man, he had so much music to choose from. And, wow. and then once we chose a song, and after we changed it just a few times, and then a few times more. Yeah. And then another time, we finally picked the perfect song. Yeah, I think it really is the perfect song. It's been some uh, stressful times, <laughs> but, but fun times. Fun it's time. fun. He's picking up really well, and he's been practicing very hard. Well, I'm just glad that Dave Wedding's not in the competition because every Every event, every fundraiser, every competition I've been in with Dave Wedding, he always wins, hands down. She, she's all about the People's Choice. Yeah, I just I'm hungry which, for it. Whichever one's the bigger award, I, that's the one I want to okay, I think the People's Choice, well, the mirror ball's really big. So, so do we get to keep that? Yeah. Because I need to display that in my office. Yeah. So. Bring your kids in here, people like oh kids. <laughs> Bring, you, you we have kids. Bring your kids. All, all the politicians it's do this. You gotta come here, friends. <laughs> say, <laughs> say vote for Ryan and Sadia. Vote for Ryan and Sadia. Over there. <laughs> Look really cute. <laughs> Look really pitiful. <laughs> you haven't eaten in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Michelle Crosby and I own Shannon School of Dance and I'm a dance instructor. I've been teaching for 18 years. I'm Jason Eddy. I'm an associate broker for SC Tucker MD Realtors and I'm also a registered nurse at Beacon in this emergency room. We are doing a tap meets Charleston style with a few surprises. Definitely. Yeah. I have no background in dancing so. It's been interesting. My feet definitely don't move like they should, uh, but you know, I'm, I feel like I'm picking up on it. I'm practicing outside of just doing it here at the studio, and I feel like I'm really picking up on it pretty well. I am really impressed with him. I mean, I've never seen someone who hasn't danced pick up so quickly, and he's, um, I don't know, I mean, you're diligent That's about sweet. practicing. I'm I serious. I'm not allowed to get he, out of the garage. He practices in the garage every night <laughs> under <laughs> gunpoint. <laughs> no. yeah. I wanted a, a good routine, a hard routine. I wanted to wow everyone the night of the event, and uh, we're definitely going to do it. He takes a swift kick to the forehead really well, too. I sure did. Uh -huh. uh, and then, so I made her put on her high heels. I know, like again, as soon as he gets her, kicked so. in the face, he's like, now do it in heels. And I was like, are you serious? That's awesome. <laughs> like, he's not afraid of anything. He's up for it. He's just like, and again, I'm ready, you know. I'm nervous. So. I can take care of the problems. Yeah, we're going to bring it to the dance floor, so hold on to your seats. Make it rain, folks. Make it uh, rain. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm Denise Johnson, and I am Executive Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Evansville. I'm Patrick Burkhalter, and I am a breakfast and lunch cook at Victoria National Golf Club. We're doing a hustle with a little mambo thrown in. I'll show my age now. I took um, disco classes for uh, college credit, for PE credit. I was told she thought disco should have never died, so I tried to stick with that as much as possible. 
I was invited to uh, attend last year. While at the event, my husband um, indicated that I love to dance, and on the spot, they asked me if I would do this next year, and I thought, they'll never remember this conversation. I'm thinking, hmm, was this really a good idea? Am I going to be able to do this choreographed thing? I mean, I like to dance in clubs, but that's a little different than knowing when I'm supposed to do something and when I'm not. My husband is 6'4", so I'm used to, you know, much taller guys. She wears seven inch heels, so we're good. <laughs> I wear stilts, really, actually, so, you know, it'll be interesting when I perform. <laughs> I'm, I'm short, but I'm mighty. We're the last people that you're about to see. I think they saved the best for last. And I would just hope that you would consider voting for me. I don't have cute kids with me like some of the other people did, but I do have a granddaughter and a really special dog. So please vote for Denise and Patrick. <laughs> Cheer for us. <laughs>